Hello, this is World Painter and how to build an RPG map or realm in Minecraft via World Painter. Now this is actually really really easy, you just have to go to Google, find yourself a um, map of a sort of fantasy um, world such as this one and then you just import it as a um, height map I left the settings completely um, as they were so it turned out quite realistic, the mountains are quite high the sea level I think is the same as Minecraft 63 um, now it does look messy and not very big but if we turn this on this one bit here is actually larger than the far end of distance so if you're standing at this edge here you can only see to the middle so it's huge it's 6,000 blocks by 4,000 blocks so to know the block count you just have to have the resolution at that so this image is at 6,000 by 4,000 so it's absolutely huge um, now you are left with problems like this and it's all jaggedy and sort of not smooth so you do have to go in and just change all of these but that's very simple if we just zoom in I started a bit here you just have to get a custom brush go on flat and sort of drag it from the edge here where you want the height to be either this one which is going to be the floor so that's close to the water or this one which is about 40 30 blocks higher if you want it to be a big sort of plateau so we'll just grab it from there turn it up full get the brush bigger and if we just sort of grab that one or let's just grab a full brush actually um, just to fill that out should we connect them let's just connect them to the I will leave all these little bits here because this map is bigger than it looks so you want to make sure you've got a lot of detail and different heights because this here is actually like three times the far end of distance so I think it's something like 500 blocks let's just grab all that there make sure the edges are smooth uh, we'll probably drag it onto that one as well but then I do want to load like all this may just be lower down to here just a little low kingdom city place and then that'll be back up to height of this So it's really easy, you don't have to do the whole map yourself, you've already got all this laid up out, out for you. You just have to go across all the top and fix it and then add in any mountains or anything else you do want on it. Um, so is that all? Oh, that's a bit different, that's height is different. Let's just do that so it sort of goes down. So we want to get a custom brush now, just for the edges. And if we just sort of get that in, just so it goes up nicely and then sort of just um, around all the edges now you also want sand around all the edges so you need to figure out what level that is on I think the C is 62 so what you need to do is at or below 64 uh, 65 so it's a few blocks above the water and then it's everything underneath the water you need to, is that bare sand? yep and so at or below 65 there you go and so now what will happen is it will only do around the very edges so you don't, so you don't have to worry about any of it getting on any of the higher land you just go around like this and it makes a nice beach everywhere for you um, so this is really just a how to make your um, world painting much easier because everyone else I see 
spend a long time doing loads of techniques that just waste time really but this one you can just sort of go like this and it's so easy and it means you get all of the you want everything underneath the water to be um, sand as well so you just have to go all over the water that bit would probably be the most time consuming because I've no I'm not sure how to do the whole water all in one go I don't think you can let's just go across there now these bits are a bit blocky look because I've just imported it in so the map is not perfect at all for this so you will have to smooth it all out but it just means you're not actually creating the whole landscape yourself let's just leave it like that for now and I will import it to Minecraft just so we can see exactly what this little bit looks like do a bit of that so I'll just leave it there, oh well let's just add some mountains first with this one and then we'll change it down a little bit um, get rid of that okay so let's just create a mountain, that's probably the wrong tool that one yeah that's a pretty good tool, I like that one uh, and then we'll just use that one perhaps create a bit of a mountain if you see down at the bottom here it'll show you what level it's at so this very peak is 200 so it's not getting near the top of the map so I should probably leave it there just get some smaller ones here oh that is at the height, you can see that flat bit there means it's at the very top of the map so you don't want that And then I will just go in with the noise tool around the edges. Although that is making a funny pattern, so I don't want that one. I will just use my custom ones. Um, that one's gone a bit weird. Let's uh, make that higher. What level is that at? Why is that not... Oh, that's high. Uh, yeah, that's about right. It's looking a bit smooth. So let's just... Use that. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. Mix of stone and cobblestone. So let's just use the mix of stone and cobblestone and we will use this brush and then what you want to do is actually change the degree of this so then it looks more realistic well I'm not changing all that, I'll leave it in because you would have it in there anyway um, yep, yep whoa RPG test um, I will leave everything, I'll put the water border on right so now I can go to spawn and then it's there and then I can select these tiles but I'll select quite a lot, that's far render distance so I'll select sort of all of that or should I just select this whole area how many blocks is that? Ooh. yeah let's just select all of that select all this, all tiles ok let's just select those tiles so how many is it? 140 chunks that'll be fine I think um, export so I will see you oh is this going to take a while? possibly <laughs> it'll be fine actually it won't take too long so I'll see you when I'm back in Minecraft okay so here we are in the world in minecraft oh god it's not doing very good stuff in life um, no what's happened to it oh there we go just some weird lag so I seem to have gravel everywhere that's not good 
far under distance. Now I should be in the middle of those hills I did. Oh god, this is taking a while to load in. So yeah, this is just the one little spawning area, so it is actually massive. See what this one looks like. Oh, that's crazy. It's got a big bit that goes through. Oh, that looks good. That could be useful. So that's quite nice, actually. Again, they're a little bit too smooth. Quite unrealistic than being that smooth. Same for here, I'd have to sort of rough it out a little bit. And I'd get rid of all the gravel. Although I'd probably manually add in a gravel path though, so I won't have to do it in game. That would save a lot of time. So what's this? This is the one that I haven't ed I haven't edited that one. This was just naturally here. Yeah, see, this is what the world's going to look like. All these sort of spikes, which you have to just smooth out yourself. At the edge of the maps, I would leave them like this, because that looks pretty cool. It's sort of like a sort of border. Although, if you wanted a bit of a harsh terrain, like a wasteland from getting from one kingdom to another, you could have a lot of this. That would be pretty cool. I'd have it a little bit lower and smoother at the bottom so you can actually walk through it but that is crazy um, what else did we load in oh there's a river going through that looks insane that would be quite cool oh it just sort of ends there that's quite cool though just make my own river instead that's pretty terrible although the idea could work as long as you actually pull it off and do it correctly But definitely it cannot stay like that. And this, this probably looks really bad as well. Oh god. Yeah, they're all the spikes. I thought I loaded in like loads with water as well. See, this is huge. This is just that one little bit that I did. The bit that I raised up and smoothed. Okay, here's some water. Let's see what this is all about. Is this that little island? So that needs smoothing. And then is this the second platform? This is a little joiny bit here, I think. Is it? Oh, that's the end. That's all I put in. Okay. I thought I loaded in a lot more than that. Oh, is there more over here? Doo -doo. I thought there was a big island, perhaps not. So look, the sander on the edge looks okay. Although it is a bl bit blocky still, so I would smooth it out a little bit more. And I think there is all the natural resources. Although the percentages, I'd probably change the percentages a little bit. Some people like to have diamonds on very, very, very rare for RPG maps. And some people don't even play with diamonds at all because they think sort of people do it just with diamonds and then they've got nothing to do, so they sort of give up. So I, w I would try to have markets and sort of reasons and purposes so you've actually got things to do. But I mean, that's pretty cool. and. All you have to do is do all the mountains you want and smooth everything right, which doesn't actually take that long. And then you've got the whole map, which this one height map is 6,000 by 4,000. You could easily just get a map of our world, the um, Earth, and you can find some of 10,000 by 10,000. So that's ridiculous. That's really big. Um, but I think that's everything.